Cholesterol Deposits on Eyelids Treatment Let's look at the skin condition xanthalasma, as they are known technically, but they also go by the name of eyelid xanthomas, or cholesterol deposits. It can extend over the whole eye, enveloping the eyelids and even the corners of the eye, and it can cause droopy eyelid, as well as other problems. It often develops symmetrically in both eyes and tends to occur in the upper left corner of the eye and the lower right corner of the eye, but rarely affects vision or eye movement. When it appears on both eyes, it's called bilateral xanthalasma. Although cholesterol deposits in the eye can be removed surgically, this is not recommended if the spots are too close to the eyes, is expensive and very invasive. As you'll learn, Xanthal, Xanthalasma Removal Cream is now the preferred method for removing xanthalasma, due to being inexpensive and easy to use, with the added bonus that you can use it in the comfort of your own home. Cholesterol deposits in the eyes are often observed in people with high cholesterol levels, but can occur in anyone and are more common in seniors. When you hear about cholesterol deposits, you might think they have something to do with the heart or arteries. Cholesterol deposits, also called xanthalasma, are deposits of cholesterol that accumulate under the skin, often on the upper and lower eyelids. In reality, these deposits are very common on the face and especially around the eyes. Usually the result of a bad diet, which in today's fast food world, is an ongoing issue. Cholesterol deposits on eyelids. The size varies from really tiny to about 3 inches, but can occur anywhere on the body. Although they are mostly harmless, although they can be irritating, their appearance can be very undesirable. They can accumulate in the eyes and other parts of the face, such as under the nose, and cause headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and even heartburn, if the offending high cholesterol is not taken under control. As well as xanthalasma, the same conditions can also form into xanthomas, which is a different type, albeit, the same group of skin disorders. The development of xanthoma can be an indication of high cholesterol, so make an appointment with your GP to see if you have any. High cholesterol is not the only cause of cholesterol buildup, but it is the most common cause. Most people with xanthalasma or xanthomas have had high cholesterol or fat problems for years, which could put them at risk for a variety of health problems such as heart disease, diabetes and on rare occasions cancer. While lowering cholesterol may not be necessary or even useful, people with low or healthy cholesterol may develop xanthalasma. If you need to lower your bad LDL, avoid eating habits that are bad for your cholesterol and avoid cholesterol deposits yourself. Defining Cholesterol Deposits on Eyelids Xanthalasma, also known as xanthalasma, is a well-defined, flat, slightly elevated yellowish growth that typically occurs on the eyelids. The medical term is an abbreviation of the Latin word for cholesterol deposits, they can be a sign of an underlying health problem such as heart attack, stroke or diabetes. This makes cholesterol deposits that accumulate under the skin an obvious clinical diagnosis, usually begging for a blood test for the presence of cholesterol in the blood, blood vessels and vessel walls. Cholesterol deposits in the eye can be removed surgically, but this is not really the best solution due to the spot's proximity to the eye itself. There is a product to remove them called xanthal, which has the dramatic effects of surgery, but without the cost of surgery or the downtime. While lowering cholesterol may not be necessary or even useful for some individuals, people with low or healthy cholesterol may develop xanthalasma. Anyone of middle age or older can also develop cholesterol spots, xanthalasma, if they have high cholesterol or fat levels in their blood. Find out some more about Xanthal and a further deep down analysis of cholesterol deposits at either xanthalasmatreatment.com or xanthal.com.